We all think Tom will be good, but we have no idea, have no idea. how he's going to be in the booth. But we, we believe he'll be good, but you, you still have to kind of hope. I recently listened to the interview you did where you kind of talked about the Greg Olson, Tom yeah. Brady situation. Yes. I think you made a lot of really good points, one being kind of, as you know, in the media, you kind of just kind of deal with it. Yep. Um, so do you think Fox as a whole, though, handled the situation well with the optics of it all? Well, I, I don't. I mean, I, I'm not sure how you handle it. If, if when a guy like Tom Brady retires, everybody in the world's going after him. Right. So Fox won that sweepstakes, right? Right. By, by paying him thirty-seven million dollars a year. I mean, my God, I, it's, it's That's unbelievable. That's not fair. Talk about so. Unfair. We know that as former athletes, who it, it's from when I got into this way back in '95 to now, there are so many more former athletes getting into it. We all know that there's a pecking order. That no matter how right. good someone does, if a Tom Brady comes along, mm -hmm. yeah. they're going to get the opportunity. They're yeah. going to get first crack. So who's ever in that spot, they're, unless they're of, of a Tom Brady level, they're going to move down. And Greg Olson is great at what he does. He's, so He's great. But he knows it. He knew it as soon as they signed Tom. He said, well, he I'm not going to. You, you know, and I know there's been a lot brought up about it, but this has been the norm. We have seen Hall of Famers come. And what happens is, is they'll, is they'll say, I'm retiring. Everybody will try and hire him. They'll hire him without knowing how they're going to be. And then you know what execs do? cross their fingers and go, please let him be good. Yeah. But because they have no idea. Now we all think Tom will be good, but we have no idea, have no idea. how he's going to be in the booth. But we, we believe he'll be good, but you, you still have to kind of hope, right. right? And I mean, the number two position at Fox does not sound like a bad position. It to doesn't be in sound, terms of but when you're number one, yeah. you know, it's almost like Clay Thompson out with the Golden State Warriors, who'd been a main cog in that team. Yeah. Now at the end of the game, he's been put on the bench yeah. in crunch time. Your, your pride takes a hit. You're not used to that. Yeah. Greg, while it hasn't been many years, but has been the number one guy, so he's used to being the number one right. guy. Now on the musical chairs of number one analysts for all the networks, there's no room. All the right. chairs are filled. Well, what about maybe something like Manning cast for him? I feel, do you feel like he would be good at something like that? Oh, I think Greg would be good at anything he would do, but but the, the, the top level in that business for games is be the number one analyst for yeah. a network. And there's only so many spots for it. He right. got a taste of that. He excelled at it. Yeah. And now, unfortunately, through no fault True. of his own, he's going to he's gonna go to number two, which you're right. It's right. not a bad thing, but when you were number one, you know, it can be tough. Very good point. Yeah. Yep. Hey, sports fans. If you want to see more conversations with athletes and stars, check out these videos right here. And be sure to subscribe for more from USA Today Sports.